Well, we saw it coming. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all with another episode of Dropping Dimes with Mr. Duga. <laughs> Ah right, man, and today I'm going to talk about the big breaking news. Um, the Auburn Tigers have officially fired head football coach Brian Harson. Um, before I get into this video, for everyone, if you want to give me a follow on my social media platforms, I'm going to have all that information down in the description box. May not always get a chance to respond to questions and comments on these videos, so feel free to DM me. Whenever I get a chance to, I'll get back at you. Come holler at your boy. Also, if you're a Madden player on Xbox One, I'm going to have my Xbox One gamer tag down in the description box also. Yeah, man, Auburn has officially parted ways with Brian Harson. Um, obviously, this is something we kind of seen coming really before the season, unless Auburn was going to have one of these magical type of seasons. We figured this would happen. Um, you know, you heard about a lot of turmoil within the program, you know, with when you got a guy like Bo Nix who grew up and, and was born Arbin, like he, Arbin is in his veins and everything, and he leaves a starting quarterback job to go away to Oregon. I mean, he ran away from Arbin as far as he could, man. Like this guy just bled Arbin, like his whole life. And for him to run away that far across the country to get away from that situation should have told you everything you needed to know about Arvin, you know, at that time. But um, like you said, it came into the season and, you know, he got an opportunity to try to get things turned around. It just never went well, man. Um, you know, some ugly games, uh, lost to LSU at home when they had a 17-0 lead. Got lucky to barely beat Missouri, um, get blown out by Georgia, and then, you know, getting beat pretty handily by a, a average Arkansas team at home. Finally did it in for him, man. You know, and then with them, you know, it was also talks of their poor recruiting. They didn't get really good recruits over there. But I felt the fit was kind of odd from the jump when you get somebody coming in from Boise State, you know, um, and it wasn't like the Chris Peterson Boise State years where Boise State was was knocking on the door of trying to play for a national championship. We're talking about good but solid all Boise State teams, but, but not great Boise State teams. And look, Auburn struck out on a lot of candidates. You know, they tried to get Billy Napier. They tried to get some other guys, and that's what they ended up with. Um, for me personally, uh, where I think they look to next, um, you know, they got to look at guys like, for example, you know, a Dave Aranda. You know, Dave Aranda is a guy that could come in, you know, and have some success over there. Um, you know, doing good things at Baylor. Um, they're not having the year they had last year, but still, um, he's somebody that they could bring in. Um, very cerebral, very young, um, different type of coach. You know, um, and you know they got guys like, um, you know, um, the coach at um, uh, what's that school I'm thinking about? Dog that I just had him in my um, in my head. Um, uh, Kansas, Kansas, yeah, Kansas head coach. You know, he they, that's somebody they could look at to try to bring in. Auburn is not a terrible job. Now, granted, they actually are a good job. And you can win at Auburn. Uh, Gene Chizik won there. Gus Melzahn had a lot of success there. Tommy Tupperville had a lot of success there. Um, you know, if you just get some recruits there, um, you know, they're competitive with Alabama every other year when they play them at Auburn. So um, you just got to get some recruits over there, get some good resources, get somebody that the fan base could get behind, and you can have success over there, man. Um, you know, as an LSU fan, I, I kind of wanted them to fire him after we beat him, kind of get back at him for us, um, for them beating, basically getting less miles fired. So um, Auburn is in, in the line for a new coach, you know, as well as schools like, you know, um, Nebraska, you know, we all know looking for a coach. Um, that's really the really only big programs I can think of right now that's actually looking for head coaches. But we're going to see what happened, man. We're going to see what happened. Um, you know, me personally, if I'm Auburn, my first phone call is to Dave Aranda at Baylor to see what he could do, what they could do to get him back in the building, to get him in the building back in the SEC West. Uh, but with that being said, that's all I got for y'all today. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe. I'm going to have LSU, NCAA, and content of my other teams throughout the year. Y'all have a blessed one. Go Tigers. LSU Tigers, that is.